We're fostering a generation of people who no longer have respect for authority. It's a godless and a disgusting generation. Look, I'm calling on every American citizen. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm a preacher, but you know what? I also carry an FN 57 filled with 20 rounds of pure brutality right there. Look, I may love Jesus, but if I see you pull a gun on an officer, you want to know whose side I'm on? That's right. I'm going to fill you with 60 rounds of pure lead. And I guarantee you, you're going to have lead poisoning. Look, guys, it's time that we as Americans, we as Christians, we got to start carrying guns because we got to protect our superheroes, our police officers. Do you realize that Starbucks wanted to take Christ and Christmas off of their brand new cups? That's why they're just plain red. In fact, do you realize that Starbucks isn't allowed to say Merry Christmas to customers? Well, I decided instead of simply boycotting, well, why don't we just start a movement? So when I went in and I asked for my coffee, they asked for my name, and I told them my name is Merry Christmas. Maybe he'd go into Starbucks, and there's a lot of homeless people here in New York that use Starbucks for a bathroom, a shower. So maybe what he should do to get the same exact outcome is maybe buy a pastry or sandwich for a homeless person and then wish them a Merry Christmas, and he gets the benefits of that with all that hatred and bigotry and cynical self-promotion. That's all this is, and I'm here to be the needle to pop that balloon. Uh, can you hear that, Joshua? Can you respond to that? Uh, well, unfortunately, I don't think that Pete's audio is uh, is put into my... That's a shame. There is a large demographic of Christian Americans that are saying we're fed up with being politically correct and it's time to just be correct. I mean, look, if this was not a Judeo-Christian society, then why did Obama have to pretend to be one in order to get elected? Oh, there it is. There it is. There. That's what I'm talking about, Brianna. I, he doesn't even have to hear me. Okay, John, there it is. I have to... You, we invited him on. There it is. Joshua, Obama I pretend to be a Christian. Good luck there, buddy. Okay, Good Joshua, luck. I do have He's got a Chaz okay, Bono on, impersonating. Please, Sorry. Okay, hold on just a moment because we're having audio issues. I'm going to button this up before we go. I do have no. to fact check you, Joshua, because the president is a Christian. Uh, but I, 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 I will tell you, I know that you've touched a nerve. But today, a big story that Starbucks is taking Merry Christmas off. No more Merry Christmas. I will tell you, lots of big things, lots of little things. You could call this anything you want. But if I become president, we're all gonna be saying Merry Christmas again. That I can tell you. That I can tell you. Just to offend you, I made sure to wear my Jesus Christ shirt into your store. And since you hate the Second Amendment, I even carried my gun. Yikes. Look, I may love Jesus, but if I see you pull a gun on an officer, you want to know whose side I'm on? That's right. I'm going to fill you with 60 rounds of pure lead. The LGBT community has one agenda, and that is to come after Christians. That has been the agenda all along. They want to put the clamp on Christianity in America, and you either back 
protect them and support them or you're going to jail. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you the time has come and I'm sounding the clarion call. It is time for us to rise up and begin a revolution. I call upon you to invade Rowan. The time has come and I'm sounding the clarion call. It is time for us to rise up and begin a revolution. I